subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi all, this is Antik Reja. Good morning, good evening. I'm here to talk about Microsoft Azure Fundamental Examinations. And I'm gonna answer three questions which are really common and comes into your mind when you are preparing or scheduling any exam. So yeah, so first of all, I want to tell you how did I prepare for the exam. So my preparation started with Microsoft Learn modules, which are really helpful in preparing any examinations related to Microsoft certification. So similarly for Azure Fundamentals, there, is a, there are modules on Microsoft Learn site. You can Google it Microsoft Learn as your fundamentals and you will find the link and you can go to that uh, documentations and I'll say a proper module is designed across the fundamental of the of Azure so you can get the all the information required for passing this exam and I feel that is really important for you if you go through that and if you are working on, already on the Azure then 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 really it's it's really great but if not like like me i don't had i didn't had any experience with azure so i went through the documentation and i also took a live session from microsoft which is free of course you can register that and you can also get the free examination coupon to after completing that session you can also get the free uh, open to register for the same exam so that's about how, how I prepared for the examination. Uh, see, I think that's a person's call if, if they think it's worth it or not. It's, it's different for everyone. The perspective is different. For me, it was really important because uh, I, I wanted to learn those cloud technologies. I didn't had any experience on that. And of course, uh, there is a need to learn those technologies going forward. So I took that exam to, to learn for about the Azure and I'm also starting to work on it. Like there is real, really less work that I'm doing at the moment in the project. But yeah, this, this is the really good topic to learn about. And I feel, I personally feel uh, there is there is kind of no harm in taking it uh, additional certification it, it of course helps you and if you are also going to search for the job so the fundamentals doesn't help you but at least it, it helps you uh, give a kickstart to your career or to your new projects if you are learning any new technology or tools that showcase that you are eager to learn new things and are, are happy to take that once it comes to you For me personally, as, as I mentioned, I don't have experience on cloud technologies. So it, it was a bit tough for me to, to learn all the technologies and the terminologies that were used in the in the modules and the live sessions. So for me, I rate it as a bit tough, like out of 10, I rate it as seven. So, but if you are already working on cloud technologies or if you are already using Azure in your project and Let's say if you have a one year, around one year experience also using Azure, tech, Azure, then I would rate it as like three or even four, and it, sh it should not be really tough for you. You can you can crack the examination after going through the modules and also going through any test samples if you practice test if you if you can get your hands on. But yeah, the modules from Microsoft Learn around this topic are really necessary what i feel is and also if you can take the live session from microsoft and get yourself registered so that that would also help you in clearing your examination so that's all from my side uh, all the best for your examination for more such videos subscribe to our channel 